one thing that's probably making this a little harder is I'm not playing on a CRT TV right now because I can't stream and play on a TV like that right now because I don't have a splitter. So that could be making this a little harder, but I haven't had too much trouble with it. And that's how I've been practicing it too, is with the same TV. And I'm actually not even, I'm, uh, <laughs> this is a really dumb thing to do, but I'm playing it um, while watching the, sh uh, the stream preview on open broadcast or software. I'm just watching the preview as I stream. That's something you really probably shouldn't do. But it's working fine for me, so that's the only way I can uh, stream this right now. Because like I said, I don't have any kind of splitter to split the signal. There we go, got it. And I took some damage, so that should mean I should die faster. I have to do this a little bit blind for a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go, I made that part. Now I have to do another part that's uh, blind a little bit, but it's still very easy. You just have to go down and then right at the right time. Okay. Now here I need to set up the ability to move during another cutscene. By taking damage at the right frame. Ow. 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 Okay. Ow. Oh, can I move? Okay, let me move. Okay, that's good. Ow. So, Ow. I've almost got through this Ow. whole glitchy beginning. Ow. About Ow. the first five minutes is the most Ow. interesting part of the run. After that, things get a lot easier. You're just basically playing through the game normally. For most of it. That guy takes 12 hits. I threw an extra star there, I think. Oh well. I don't think that really wastes time. So right there, I was able to get the fairy reflection sooner than normal, but I wasn't able to get able to get that orange gem too. I know in a tool assisted speedrun you can get that orange gem and the fairy reflection at the same time, but I'm not doing a tool assisted so I can't really do that. Never been able to do it. Because that requires you to grab the gem and then set up the ability to pause during another cutscene and then Afterwards, grab the fairy reflection. But every time I try to do that, the fairy reflection um, isn't on camera. It's like off screen, and you can't pick up things that are off screen. So I, I am able to pick up the gem and then set up the uh, next death there to set up the ability to move during cutscenes. But I've never been able to do all three. Like grab the gem and the reflection. And then set up the uh, trick there with the gnomes where you take damage. And then kill yourself. So you can move during another cutscene. I'm going to do that now. Right here I get to go throw this fairy reflection back into the water. And the cutscene begins but I'm going to press start to allow Molin to move during the cutscene. And I'm able to do that because I died before during the, while I was talking to the lady of the lake. Okay, now, if you press it too soon, you actually get stuck anyways, but if you wait to the right moment and press it, you can move. I want the balloon now, just to make this a little easier. Okay, if I do this at the right time, I should be able to continue to the next scene of the cutscene. Now, I can pick up an item during the cutscene itself. And as you can see, you can't see my HUD anymore, but whenever I use the balloon, it'll fix me and allow me to see the HUD again. 
And once I pick up the winch, this is actually two cutscenes going on at the same time here. That's one reason why it saves time. Because you're uh, kind of activating a cutscene during another one and allows you to skip it. That cutscene is actually still going on. But because the other cutscene ended, it's going to let me move around again. And you can hear that guy still talking. That's part of that cutscene that I'm skipping. But I think it also depends on how far you get bounced back from him when you take the damage. Too. That can affect it. Sometimes you bounce back farther than... Uh... Other times. Oh, there we go. Oh, I took too much damage. Oh, yep. <laughs> and I died. Okay, I'm still able to move. I'm not going to make it down there, of course. I'm not going to make it anywhere close. Oh, I could try just for fun. See if I... Down a little bit? And let's see if I go across a log. I'm trying to go across right now. Nope. I'm um, not anywhere close, I guess. There was a backup to this. I could go ahead and try it if I'm close enough to do it. Okay. But you could get on the end of the log and trigger this scene. Now you can do it this way. This is like a backup strat if you... If you um, mess up the other method of doing it. And now you can go get this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and try that, I guess. I have to do this blind. A little bit more to the right. Now, if I throw a star, I should unlock the camera. And I'm right where I want to be. Although I'm not on the wrong side. Let's see if I can get through this. Since I've already passed the invisible wall, I might be able to get through. So if you do mess up um, on that pig trick, you can still get through this. Get the fairy reflection just like that. Yeah, that worked. And maybe I can get back across and get the... Uh, Orange Gym 2. Before I die. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, I made it. Oh, I got both. I'm going to go with this run. <laughs> this isn't the normal way I do it, but... uh, That works pretty well. There we go. Partway there, finally. If I can just make it across the log. Yep. And now, I guess I'll try to get the orange gym again. I messed it up pretty bad last time. I was way off. Okay, I'm thinking that's too far from it, but it might be right on. Yep, that's too far away. No way that would work. Okay, but I do know uh, how to unlock the camera now while I'm here with the Lady in the Lake. So if I can get past these gnomes, I might be able to grab the gym now. Oh great, I can do all. Okay, that's the first time I've ever done that script this way. That's awesome.